Chris Brown has been arrested on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon after a prolonged 11-hour standoff with the police at his $4 million mansion. Bailey Kern, a former Miss California Regional 2016, called 911 at around 3 a.m. on Tuesday claiming a Brown had pointed a gun at her after she admired his friend's jewelry. Police arrived at Brown's sprawling estate in Los Angeles, but no one answered the door and it took hours before they obtained a warrant to search the home for a weapon. Emerging from his mansion around 2.43 p.m., P.T., Brown took off his sweatshirt and sat on the ground in front of the door, appearing relaxed before he went back inside around 3 p.m., P.T. Authorities said Brown was cooperating with the Los Angeles Police Department before he was arrested around 5 p.m., P.T., LAPD Robbery Homicide Division detectives searched the property, while Brown's entourage of about half a dozen people were patted down and interviewed by authorities. Brown is being taken to the police station in downtown Los Angeles where he will be formally booked. A felony assault with a deadly weapon conviction carries a sentence of four years in county jail, along with a $10,000 fine. Because Brown pleaded guilty to the felony assault case involving ex-girlfriend and pop singer Rihanna, he was forbidden to possess a firearm under California law. Authorities would not say if they found a weapon on the property and would not comment on the accusation that the singer threw a bag out of a window with a gun and drugs inside. Brown was wearing a white t-shirt and a red baseball cap when he emerged earlier this afternoon and sat on the ground outside his house as officers stood nearby. The singer appeared calm before he went back into the home about 15 minutes later. Police interviewed about half a dozen people who were inside his home, and LAPD Lt. Chris Ramirez said, We're getting the cooperation of everyone that came out. Brown's attorney Mark Geragos arrived at the home and later told the Los Angeles Times the singer denied any wrongdoing. LAPD Deputy Chief Bob Green had described the standoff between Brown and officers as long and protracted.